Welcome to the Foundations TV studio. Everybody, our guest today is Ritu Kapoor. Welcome to Foundations TV, Ritu. Thank you, Gauri. It's a pleasure to be here. It's very nice to have you. Ritu is, uh, by background, an occupational therapist. She completed her degree from India, and then she also did an advanced degree from Boston University here. Um, she is also a yoga instructor. She has over 20 years of experience in occupational therapy and has been teaching yoga for four years now. Right. And she and her husband have just started a yoga studio in Westboro, Soham Yoga. So. Uh, I'll let that, uh, you know, I'll hand it over to Ritu uh, now. Could you tell us a little bit about your journey as a yoga instructor and this uh, dream of how uh, you realized uh, and how you uh, came where you are today? Thank you, Gauri. Um, it's definitely been a journey. Uh, becoming a yoga instructor was never something I dreamt of. It's just happened to be. Um, you know, I guess the stars were aligned properly. Um, and I'm so thankful, so grateful that yoga came into my life. Um, you know, uh, I did yoga as a child when I was little, uh, as many Indians have been exposed to. But not until later in life, uh, when I started practicing yoga in a gym, um, I started going deeper into it. I had to know more about it. I went for teacher's training, and that was a transformating experience. Um, nothing else has affected me as much as this whole journey of becoming a yoga instructor has. Um, so so uh, did you take formal uh, training? Where did you take it, and how long did it take for you to become a certified yoga instructor? It was a few months. Um, I did because I was working full time. I had two children at that point. So it was more weekend training. So it was a few months, which is good because it takes that much time to absorb new knowledge. It does, it does. Now, um, according to you, since you uh, work with so many different people, and uh, I'm sure you must be hearing various perspectives and various uh, viewpoints of what people believe yoga is. Um, so according to you, what is the definition of yoga? And, uh, you know, um, what, what does it mean to you and what, what benefits uh, do you think that brings into people's lives? For me, yoga is something that connects your body, your breath, and your mind. Uh, you feel connected with your inner self. You feel at peace. And that's what yoga is. Uh, most people may think it's moving your body in fancy postures. Right. That's, that's what I had in mind exactly when I asked yeah. you this question because that's what my definition of yoga is and that's what I believe a lot of people will think. It's more like stretches and it's more like, you know, just kind of getting right. more flexible with your body and all muscles and so right. there's more to it. And that's definitely one huge benefit that you stretch your body and you stretch your muscles, you bring more flexibility and strength in your body. That's one out of eight limbs of yoga. Uh, okay. The third limb, which is asana. But there are other limbs of yoga. Uh, when you combine everything together, it really becomes yoga. The word yoga means join or connect. What you're connecting here is your body, your breath, and mind. Okay, yeah. okay wonderful. So um, that, that kind of uh, leads me, or actually kind of explains a little bit what I had in mind to ask you next as well. Is, uh, you know, I, I and a lot of people would mm -hmm. generally do this. They would go and they would take a class mm -hmm. and they would learn the asanas. Mm -hmm. um, and then they would kind of practice those at home and figure out what's best for them. And then it becomes a routine at home. And right. you kind of, it's more about self-discipline and you kind of start doing it at home and you feel like, oh, this is great for me and this is working out well. Mm -hmm. Now I don't need to go to the instructor at all. Yeah. So as an instructor, what do you think? Uh, do people you know, need to go to an instructor at all or after they've learned some level of yoga? Or what is the benefit of going to a, an instructor versus doing it at home? That's a very good question, Gauri. Uh, so for me, I think it's equally important that you have your personal practice and you have a teacher. I think there's no replacement for either one. Mm -hmm. I, when I teach a class, I always tell people, go home and practice some of the poses for 10 minutes every day. Start with five, go up to 10. 
And like I said, there's no replacement for personal practice. And that's incredible that you have a personal practice, and I hope many other people do. But what happens is yoga is a vast knowledge. It's an ocean. Uh, if you've taken one drop and that's helping you, that's great. But you need a teacher to help you reach more depths of it. Um, so it's like any other thing in life. It's, it's, uh, the learning never ends. It's no, never. Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. wonderful. And, and when you go to a class, you also experience the energy uh, that comes with that connecting with other beings. That is true. Yeah. When you chant OM together in a room full of people, there is no other experience like it. Um, I feel the peace that comes at the end after teaching a class, and I never feel that moment alone in my room, because I do my personal practice every day too, but doing it together with other people is a completely different experience. That's beautiful, that's beautiful, it's very nice. Um, Thank you. So, uh, as an instructor, I'm, I'm hearing that you derive a lot of energy from the room itself and it's right. filled with people. Uh, and I'm sure they must be experiencing something very special with you being in the room. So what differentiates, what do you think differentiates you as a yoga instructor mm -hmm. from other, um, other instructors? Again, that's an interesting question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can say how I differentiate the kind of yoga we offer at Soham from other sure, yoga yes, studio, yes, perhaps. That, that would be helpful, yes. All our instructors have a lot of experience, some more than 20 to 30 years of experience. Um, and all of them, if you sit in a class, you'll probably feel the same experience at the end of a class, feeling at peace with yourself. What we try to do at Soham Yoga is provide more traditional, more gentle yoga, something where you're also connecting your breath and mind with, not just moving your body. What we are not offering is power yoga, um, you know, which has become very common, something that people want to do. And those two words are something that should never be said together. Uh, uh, so, so it's more I, peaceful yoga. That more peaceful yoga, more therapeutic. My style okay. is very gentle and therapeutic. Okay, um, that's beautiful. That that's very good to know. And I, I just heard you say you have more instructors in Soham Yoga We studio? have about twelve instructors, including me and my husband. Okay, um, wonderful. I teach yoga. Ajay teaches meditation. Excellent. And um, Excellent. other instructors do different variety: Hatha Yoga, Vinyasa Yoga. Okay, so is it running all day? I mean, how, what are the timings? And there how are classes in the mornings and in the evenings. Okay, all yes. right. Okay. And is that something full-time that you do? Have you devoted your life to it now? <laughs> um, not quite, okay. uh, because there's many other hats that I wear. I'm a mom of two boys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm still working full-time as an occupational therapist oh, while taking great. care of the studio. Oh my God, uh, wow. And I would not have been able to do this without my husband's support. Yes, um, I'm sure, I'm yeah. sure. That's a lot, that's a lot on it your is plate. A lot. So uh, yeah, Ritu, I'm hearing such wonderful things about um, Soham Yoga Studio and your experiences. So would you like to share uh, some feedback uh, that you have received from some of your clients of uh, the changes uh, this has made in their lives or brought them to a better path or something you'd like to share with our viewers? Sure. Um, there's been many positive feedbacks. Um, I think in general, um, Westboro community has embraced us very well. People have come to me and said, I am so thankful this is not hot yoga. Oh, wonderful, yeah. And uh, I teach yoga for healthy back class, and the other day um, a woman came. After the class, she wanted to talk to me, and we talked for about 20 minutes. And she had been in terrible pain for years, she said. And she said, this was amazing. I said, she said she was lying down on the floor thinking, why did I do this before? Um, so from, you know, those kind of things make you feel so happy and warm. You know, our meditation instructor had a very positive experience. Somebody came um, to her class and said, my heart feels so warm at the end of the class. So um, it's been great. Lovely, lovely. I'm sure it makes it all worth it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So I'm sure you'll be facing a lot of challenges, uh, you know, being a mom and uh, being a new business owner and right. uh, also, uh, you know, 
just scheduling of classes and managing the whole business, uh, even though your husband's helping you. But I'm sure there's a lot. So uh, would you like to share um, maybe one biggest challenge or, or more than one challenges that you face and how you overcome those challenges? <laughs> I think it's challenges are just doing everything on day-to-day -day basis. Uh -huh. um, my hats are constantly changing throughout the day. Yeah. I'm working for somebody at one moment, then I'm a business owner, then I'm suddenly a mom, then I'm a student myself because I'm, I'm learning to be a yoga therapist, so I'm taking classes for that. Um, like you said, knowledge never ends. So. So trying to be calm and mindful at the same time while you're doing all your duties um, can be challenging at times. Um, very well said, very well said. I think a lot of moms will be able to relate to what you just right. said. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, the additional challenge that you have, uh, which I hear is, is uh, at one, on the one side you're working for somebody else and on the other side you're working for yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, those are two, from my experience, those are completely two different ways of life. Right. Um, and to be able to transition from one to the other right. and, and continue to play the role of a responsible and sensitive mom. Right. <laughs> I think that's kudos to you. That's uh, congratulations, you. and you. I think that's that's really beautiful. So, uh, before we end the video, do you have a message for our viewers? Well, I would say if you have done yoga before, do come to our studio to have a new experience, perhaps. And if you haven't done yoga before, do come to our studio and see what our instructors have in store for you. You will be very pleasantly surprised. I think I'm coming. <laughs> Thank you, Gauri. I'd love to see you there. Yes, yes, I would love to. I, I li the best thing I think I like about it is uh, when you said that it's peaceful and it's gentle. Right. Um, that's right. something that I connect with right away. Yeah. Uh, even though our lifestyles are more powerful and more <laughs> energetic and always running around trying to get more done in less time, Absolutely. I think uh, that's such a beautiful experience that I would love to be part of. Thank and, you so much. Uh, Thanks for coming to Foundations TV today. It's a pleasure to be here. Very nice to have you. Thank you, Gauri. Uh, before we end the video, I would also like to uh, thank our sponsors, Smitha's Boutique, whose outfit I am wearing today. So thank you, Smitha, for you your sponsorship. You look lovely. Thank you. <laughs> All right, wonderful.